Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and can you tell I'm a little bit obsessed with these paperclip ideas? So this is just another one that I don't know if I saw it somewhere or I just thought of it. A lot of times things are in my mind and I've seen it somewhere in a magazine or something. And then again, sometimes things just come to my mind to make. So I have no idea. don't know if anybody's made these before, but uh, we're going to give it a try today. Now, these are just some that I've made and they're just little clips and they're like little flags. Let's see if we can get that in the light. There we go. Let me move my lights around a little bit. It's really dark here today. And there's one. That. Isn't that cute? They're so easy to make and they'll look really good in your journals, your junk journals, your mini albums. This is with just a smaller clip. So I think they're cute and let me tell you something. If you only have silver paper clips like I do and you'd rather use different colors, all you have to do is take your alcohol markers and you can color these any color that you want. If you want to color them black, brown, red, purple, pink, whatever, you can do it if you have alcohol markers or uh, magic markers, things like that. You can color these. Just color them over, sit them, and let them dry, and then use them. So let's go ahead and make a few of these. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to color mine. I'm not going to worry about it. I think the silver is fine with me, but um, that's up to you. Now, on this, this is just a piece of book page, and I have just cut it using my scissors, those little quirky scissors that I use that have been in my stash forever, and I've just now found a new use for them. <laughs> so I just cut, now you could cut a double layer. You could cut it long enough that you can fold it over. I think I did one. Yeah, this one, I folded it completely over on the back side, so I've got the double layer there. This one I just cut it long enough that I can fold it right there and just have a little bit on the back. I don't have the whole thing coming down. So that's that depends on what you want. And then you're going to take it and you're going to slide it in the long side of your paper clip. That part, there we go, that part right here. Not the part where the opening is, but just slide it in that long side right there. And sorry, I did have to put this thing back on. I worked yesterday without it on, and I paid for it last night. <laughs> I hurt all night long, so I had to put it back on today. So hopefully it won't uh, mess my video up, I'm hoping. I'm going to put, I tell you what, I'm going to put something black right there so that maybe it won't affect my video. The, these cameras are so sensitive to different colors. It's just crazy. All right, so that is our little flag on there. And you can see, I just cut it like a little ticket. And then I am going to ink around mine. And you can do this before or after you put it on. It doesn't matter. I've done them. Some of them I do before, some of them after. It just depends on when I think about it. Someone asked me in a comment last night, and I haven't, I've read most of my comments, but I haven't got to answer any of them, but somebody asked me last night, do I ever sleep? Well, yes and no. <laughs> I sleep a little, but I don't sleep much. Okay, I made this little envelope, and I'll show you how I made that. They're simple and easy. They're not hard at all. Let's see if I can grab a piece of paper here. And I don't know if this is the right way or wrong way to make them, but it's just the way that I made them. And I just kind of cut a rectangle. And then I just folded it up to about there. So I give it left just a little bit of room at the top. And then I just take these little flaps and I fold them over. I fold each at the same time so that I can kind of get get them in the center like that. And then 
this one I folded down a little bit too far so I'm just going to trim this bottom off just a little bit and you could fold two or three different layers of this bottom up and then you would have a little fold out you know it would fold out and you could have a little place to write when you got finished but on that one we just did one and there's our little envelope and you can make them any size that you want so I've just made this one out of some coffee stained paper and I think we're going to use that on there but I want to put something else down first I think I'm going to put just a little bit of, of this this is just a doily that we colored up so let's see how do we want to put this down I think I'll put this over on this side Now I love putting lace on them, so I usually just take my scrap lace and lay that down on there. And then I think I'll ink around this and I'll lay that down right there and put a little bitty piece of bling right there in the center. And I'll, I'll go ahead and glue that little thing down because I don't plan on using it to write with. So, all right, let's get started putting this together. I'm just gonna ink a little bit on the edges of this. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know I have found a supplier, a wholesale supplier, that I can buy these bottles and these little caps from. So I have some of these on the way. So if everywhere else is sold out, I should have some in probably about three or four days. I will get those loaded up. Okay, I'm going to put my... I think I'll put my trim that way, just kind of hang it off. Then we'll go ahead and ink that little envelope up, and I'm just going to put one little drop of glue under there. And we'll glue him down. Let's see, maybe right there, kind of across that trim. Then I have, oops, sorry about the rattling. This is my little stash of goodies here. Um, I have some little tiny flowers. I think I'm going to pull in some color here. Let's grab a little teal flower there. And then there is a little teal flower. Let's put a couple of little teal flowers down there. And then what I did is I printed my labels. These are my labels that are in the, I think, the Journey digital kit. And I printed those and I, I just shrunk them down, printed a bunch to one page. So I'm just going to trim one of these out. So I wanted some small little words. I didn't want anything big. Okay. There is a little word. It says timeless. So keep in mind, even though these are made a pretty good size, you can shrink them down to any size that you want just with your printer. I just said print four to a page, and that made it shrink them down. Okay, I think I'm going to put... I may just put that other one right there on that little envelope and then we'll take this and put this timeless right across there and that is another right there see how quick they come together I love them okay then I cut this is an Edith Holden page here and I just cut two of these wasn't quite long enough. I wanted my, my flowers and everything to go the same way. So it wasn't quite long enough for me to fold it. So I have just cut it like that. And then what I'm going to do 
is, and this is trial and error here, what I'm going to do is just put glue right at the top and on the side, just one side for right now. No, I didn't need to put glue on that side yet. Okay, I just put glue right at the top. Right at the top. Don't put your glue on the side yet. Then we're going to use this huge um, paper clip. Let's see. And I'm just going to slide that down in there. This is one of those plastic coated ones and it doesn't slide as well. So we're going to slide that down in there like that. And I'm probably going to have to fold this over. Okay, so let me move that up out of the way a little bit. And I'm just going to fold this over so that it'll be out of the way. And I'm just going to glue that down. Now, you could have cut your paper a different way. I have already had mine cut before I realized what I wanted to do. So, that is up to you. You can always cut it just a little bit larger and then fold it over that way. A lot of, the, I have so many people that say, well, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Um, you know, as you know, as most of you know, I craft on the fly. So this is crafting while I'm videoing and while I'm talking. So a lot of times I don't think to do this or that. <laughs> I think about it after the fact, but I don't think about it while I'm doing it. Okay, now what we're going to do is glue down the sides and the bottom. Now, this is large enough that you could leave the one side open and then you would have a little pocket in here too. But I'm not going to do that on this one. I'm just going to glue it down like that and then I'm just going to oops. I'm going to trim it off even since I got it a little bit out of whack there. And I think what I'll do to this one is make it, let's see, I think I'll make it a little bit of a, a banner cut, an opposite banner cut. Let's see if we can do this without messing up too bad. I'm going to cut like that. And then we'll cut that there we go that's not too bad so we done made that little shape there and then I'm gonna ink around it just a little and then we can decorate it up just a little bit uh, what are we gonna put on this one Got a little piece of lace here, but I think I want a piece of lace to go down the side of this. So let me see what I have over here. I have this little piece that could definitely go down the side like that. Then we could just trim that off at the bottom. I'm going to lay my pieces out here and then we'll decide how we want to do them. Now I also have just a few little flowers and things that I think I might trim that off and put that there. It's a little bit long, but I think if I trim it, maybe just trim this part back. I think I can put it on that because it matches these little purple flowers here. And then, let's see, I want a butterfly on here. So let's find us a butterfly that would go, maybe. look through our little book here. I'm not finding anything in there. Those are too big, so let's look through this. 
think I have a few little butterflies in here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Let's see. No, nope, that's too big. Let's see. This looks like a little one right here. Oh, yeah. I think we can put that one on there. Or... Maybe that one. It stands out a little bit more and it has a little bit of that purple in it. I like that one. So we'll pull that one in. And then I want I think I just want this little label. And this is one of our labels and it just says imagine. We'll ink that up and I like to lay mine out like this first before I glue it down that just gives me a chance to look at it and see if I need to change something so let's see see what I need here I think that'll work well enough that we can start gluing I'm gonna ink around this butterfly a little bit because it's got some white edges that are showing that I don't particularly like so there we go Alright, so let's glue this lace down first. I'm going to trim that edge off right there. And I think I'll just put my glue on here. Oh, another thing I found, too, from a supplier, and I have it on the way, is some of these little silicone pieces. They're a little bit narrower than this, but they'll do the job. So I have some of those on the way, too. They'll be here soon, and I'm going to make sure that everything is reasonably priced. So, All right, so let's put that big flower right there and I'm just going to trim I'm going to put him down and then I'll trim him off probably so I may use part of the leaf and I may not Let's see there we go cute yeah I'm going to trim the bottom part of this off just so that it'll be even with the rest of our little piece here and then let's put our butterfly where do we want our butterfly right there maybe flying into those little flowers I keep knocking everything over this morning okay, we'll hold that there just a second and then put our little label down imagine and all of our digitals are linked below so you can go over and check those out if you want to check any of these out that we're putting on here look at that isn't that cute now i want to put a little bit of bling down the center of my butterfly as i always do i like for my butterflies to kind of stand out i'm going to put my little glue right there Cute. Uh, I'm in love with that. I love that one. And see, then that'll just clip right on. Let's just, I'm not going to press hard because everything's not glued, but that'll just clip right on any of your pages in your albums or your journals or whatever you have. Isn't that cute? All right, so there's another. So let's make one using a piece of scrapbook paper. Now I'm addicted to these scissors, so I'm going to use the scissors to cut mine. You don't have to do that. You can cut them just squared off if you want to. I just think this is pretty. And let's see. 
My only problem is it's hard for me to cut straight with them. And I do have some pinking shears, but right now they're a little bit too tough for me to use. So these are pretty easy. Oh, that's pretty good. Now I just went ahead and cut one long enough that I can um, fold it over. This is just scrapbook paper. Okay. I think I just raked that off on the floor and I just finished vacuuming. Oh well, vacuum again. Alright, that's the right size right there. We can fold that over. And see, then you can make a long one like that. We just folded it over. And then, like I said, if you want to leave one of these sides open, you can to tuck a little tag or something in there. We might try that with this one just to see what it does. Okay, so I'm just gluing two sides down. Well, the side in the bottom, I should say. And we left this little side open right there. All right, what are we gonna put on here? That's cute, we might use that. But I think I'm gonna put a little bit of trim or lace, something down here at the bottom. See if we have any that's just, yeah, let's put a little piece of this right at the bottom. Yeah, let's glue a little piece of that right across the bottom. Ooh, wrong side. There we go. That's cute. I don't think this is going to need anything else other than this. And this also came from one of you guys. This little piece. Okay, let's see. Is there anything? We do need a little word. What do we need? Well, we've got good times here. I don't think we need a word. Maybe we just need a number. Let's just try a number. And I think I'm just going to grab a, maybe a dark one, black one. So it will show up. Maybe a brown. try this brown one. I think that will go better than the black. Um, the black is a little bit too black. Stick that right there. Isn't that cute? And see, that doesn't need very much at all. We will put a little piece of bling down here at the bottom just because we like bling and because I think it's pretty.
cute as a button. I love that. Okay, my little bird has to have an eye. Has to have. Has, has to have. I don't think that's a word. Has to have. Must have. Where I got has to have. Has to have. Must have an eye. There we go. Maybe a little bit big eye, but that's going to be a big eyed bird. And then I'm going to try one of these little tags right in here. Look at that. What little tag works. Could actually put two in here. And these tags were actually made by you guys. They're not, I didn't make them right then, they were just made by you. I just grabbed them out of the little purse like me and tucked them in there. But they go perfect. Look at that. Is that not cute? Okay, there is another. And I will put those back in the purse and make tags for that. But I just wanted to show you how that works. Now what are we going to do? What are we going to make one out of? I just like trying everything. Uh, let's see if we've already used that. Tell me what you think. What should we do now? We could use this and make one. Let's see. We'll need to cut it down. And I want to use this side, I think. So let's cut it down right there. Then we can make a smaller one out of the other side. Ooh, look how crooked. You could always use your trimmer for this. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, let's see. If I put that in there, will I have... I really want to... I want this to be the front part right there. So if we fold that over... And then we can bring that back up and glue it to the back like that. Okay, so I folded that over and I'm just going to bring this back up to the back like that. And then just fold that down. And that's going to get the part on the front that I want. Look at that. I don't think that one's going to have to have very much at all. Of course, you know I'm going to put plenty on there, but I don't think it's going to have to have it. That is cute, right there. Now, if you want to glue these in where they won't move, I, all I do is just insert just a little piece of, a uh, little bit of glue, a little piece of glue, right up in there, and then press that together. And that just kind of sets it where it doesn't move or doesn't slide, which mine are fitting to the paper clips, so they don't, they don't slide anyway, but if you have some that you want to make sure that don't slide, then you can do that. Let's lay that one aside. Now, what do we want to put on this one? We could put... No, oh, that's a little bit big. Let's don't put that there. Hmm. I really think all this one is going to need is just a little bit of lace. And maybe a little word and that's it because these flowers are beautiful so let's find just a pretty little piece of lace and I think the white lace is gonna be our best bet let's look in here and see what we have this is our little stash of lace here's a little piece it's a little bit wide but I think we can glue it like that and have a double layer of lace. And we can either put it across the bottom or up the side. Oh, I'm locking it up the side. So let's glue this together. And then we can come back and glue it on there. Okay. Trim that off even. And then we'll put that right there. See that double layer? Isn't that cute? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna trim it off right at the bottom. So that is it so far. Isn't that cute? And then, of course, you know what comes next. These are so addictive. If you start making these, drag out your scraps, get a cup of coffee or tea or whatever you drink, and sit for a while because these are so addictive. I just want to keep making and making and making and making. I don't want to stop. Let's see if I might tuck in just a few of these little tiny flowers that I have in here. They're five and six to a little bunch here. I think they're layered. Just put a few around. They're the same color as those leaves. So I think that will be pretty. Let's see. Let's put another one right there. Okay, I've got a string on me somewhere. And do we have anything else? I think that is all out of that little stash. So I'm gonna glue these little flowers down. This is Fabri-Tac that I have in here, if you're wondering. These are those Sugar Bell bottles, and like I said, we do have some of these on the way with the caps. So, and we will sell them probably, uh, we'll sell the caps with them and then we'll sell the caps separately just in case some people have the bottles and some people just have the, the bottles and they just need the tops. So we'll sell them both ways. That way you can get what you need. I'm just putting a few little pieces of this tiny, tiny black bling in there. I would rather have a, a clear bling, but I don't have a clear that's that tiny. So we're going to use that. And what else are we going to use? I want a tiny little butterfly on there, and I don't have a I don't have a little butterfly that is small enough to put on here, so I'm going to take this little wood butterfly I should have shrunk down some of my butterflies is what I should have done. I'm going to glue him on here and then I'll color him. That way I can lay it aside and just let it dry. So I'm just going to glue him right there. And then I'll color over him just a little bit. Let's see, what color do we want him? And this is just a Copic marker in dark red. Then I'm going to take a little bit of our diamond stickles. And I'm going to put right on top of that butterfly. Make him stand out a little bit. And then we'll grab just a little word and let's see. I'm going to put this word that just says blessed. Because I am very blessed to be able to do what I do. Put just 
just a little bit of ink around it. And Tina, if you watch this, this would be a fantastic video for you to do on your mask make. And you are welcome to. She does a mask make every Tuesday, I believe it is. And this would be a great video to do on the mask make. Isn't that cute? So there is that one. Okay, I'm going to do a small one, I think. And I think I'm going to use the opposite side of that paper and do a, a little tiny one. Let's see. And I just kind of guess at my cutting. I don't I don't measure it. But you can definitely measure. You can do better than me. And measure yours up. And I think I'm going to make this one a little long. I made the other one a little shorter. I'll make this a little longer. I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to glue it together. And then I'm going to cut a little banner shape out of it. I have no idea what to call these. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to cut up a little bit in the center and then I'm going to go over to that point, cut to the center, and then to this point and cut to the center. And then that makes my little banner. Isn't that cute. I love little things. I like big things too, but I love little gadgets, little um, embellishments, just little tiny things. I think they're so cute. And they dress up a page. Just before you know it, you'll have your page all dressed up. Now, we need little tiny embellishments to put on here. So we need a little tiny piece of lace. Let's see if I have anything that's tiny, tiny. This might work. Let's see, let's put it, put it across that way maybe. This is a very old um, trim and it is trying to fray on me really bad cut these little pieces off and then try that again oh yeah I like that it looks like a little lace flower around there so I'm just gonna glue it to the back put it all the way around And this is a little project that your imagination can just run wild with because there's just so many different little possibilities that you could do with these. And we'll put a little tiny piece of glue up under there. So I want that to glue down. There we go. Now we can put some other little embellishments on here. What do we have? Well, I think that would stick out too much. Let's see if we have anything else in here that would look cute. Okay, I think I like this little piece on here. Not sure why, but I just think it's cute. I'm going to glue that down right there. Alright, then on the top, I think, 
I'll just grab one of Tim Holtz's little labels over here. This, this is just a little tiny label. I don't know what it says. I have to put a whole bunch of eyes on to see what that said. But I think I'm just going to put it right here at the top. Right there. And then I have just this little tiny, and I think it's like a little metal flower. It, I've, it's had been in my stash for a long time now. So it's time to use it. I'm just going to put it right up here at the top. Oh, I got way too much glue on that. Okay. So that is that little one. Isn't that cute? I uh, love that. Okay. All right. That is a bunch of little embellishments. Let me get my glues closed up. They're starting to get aggravating on me. So here are all of our little pieces that we made. I only made a few of these before the video. The others were made during the video. So look at that. Lots of little goodies there. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. Grab out your scraps and start making some of these. I'm telling you, they're addictive. So if you start, make sure you have your food and your drink beside you because you're not even going to want to stop to get up and go get something to drink. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment below. We love to read those comments, and I will respond to every comment just as fast as I can. Like I said, I do read all of them, but a lot of times I just don't get the time to respond right that minute. So I will respond just as soon as I can. Thank you so much.